Hi folks, I'm Jay Birschback along with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson at the Imagination Station. Today, something right up my alley, Tornado Cannon to exactly. demonstrate the power of the wind within a very strong tornado. Exactly. Yeah. Now, you know, tornadoes have in those incredibly high winds, and uh -huh. the thing that I always think about is the flying debris. Sure. Right? So in, in a typical tornado, if there is such a thing, like what would we be looking at wind speed-wise? Usually they're, they're fairly what we'd call weak on the EF scale, uh, under 150 miles per hour, which is still tremendous damage, but, okay. uh, but as you go up, of course, the wind gets higher and higher. Right. Yeah. Well, what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to launch a pencil Okay. through a block of plywood, okay. right? The way we're gonna do it is just gonna put the pencil right inside this steel tube and then uh, pressurize it using a carbon dioxide gas okay. cylinder, right? That's gonna launch the pencil down the tube okay. to where we have a block of wood loaded into a vise where the pencil is gonna try to impinge upon it. We're gonna see what happens. Okay. And we're recording this with a high-speed camera so we can get an accurate measurement of the speed of the pencil as well. We can kind of sync that up with the uh, EF scale and see sure. how what kind of tornado we're looking at with this device. Okay, that's very uh, similar to the way they figure out uh, the EF scale itself. What they do is they go out and survey the damage, and from the amount of damage, they estimate the wind within that storm. Okay. So, so kind of doing our own little site survey yeah. after a storm here. The block of wood. All right, let's okay. try it. All right, let's launch this. Down. So we'll do a little countdown here, and we'll fire off this CO2 okay. cylinder. Back up a little Launch bit. it, and then we'll check out the damage. Ready? Okay, I'm ready, Carl. All right, three, two, one. Look at that, right through, right through the uh, block of wood there. That is amazing, so the force is insane. It's incredible. So let's look at it on the high speed camera and we can actually calibrate it and measure how fast that pencil was going. So as the pencil is going through the block of wood, check that out, the back of the wood is blowing out and when the pencil hits the back wall, the eraser pops out the other end. Now, why? Well, the pencil and the eraser are both traveling forward. When the pencil is stopped, the eraser is still moving. It's a little bit compressible, compresses, and then it re-expands and shoots right back out the end of the pencil. Kind of an unexpected, interesting little tidbit there. That's but science. the pencil itself is going about 225 miles per hour. Now, what level of tornado would that be? Uh, that would be an EF5, which is the highest scale. Wow. So that would be the top of our chart, and that would do devastating damage to, uh, to any neighborhood. So, so even things like pencils, uh, when I go to schools, I say erasers, your books, hats, anything. Anything, anything moving at that speed is dangerous. It is, yes, a simple Absolutely. thing like a pencil. So amazing stuff, a great show yep. of force here. Uh, amazing how it goes through. Thankfully, it's, it's winter season now. Yes. So we can hopefully put that, uh, that threat away for the year. But of course, when spring comes around, I have to worry about the, uh, the damaging straight line winds and tornadoes, which can do amazing damage. Absolutely. Okay, Some Carl. really nice science as well. It is cool. I like it. Yeah. All right, Carl, thank you so much. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Birschback, and that was Imagine It.